What's up YouTube? It is Ben with Bearded Spruce back for another review of a product. Today it's going to be a little different than the norm. Usually we review a table saw or a drill press or something like that. Today we're doing a review on some earbuds. Um, I know what you're thinking, you know, this is a woodworking channel for the most part. I do all kinds of projects around the house, but today we're actually doing something that I think is essential when you're doing these projects, no matter what you're doing, no matter if I'm in the Airstream uh, doing some work or in the basement doing a project or something else, uh, making some shelves, I always have some ear protection in. but. For the most part, I get bored, and so what I typically do is do some cool earbuds. Um, up until this point, I've actually been using some Jabra Elite 65 Ts. They were great. Uh, there wasn't a ton of negatives to them, especially because I had nothing else to compare them to, but I've recently upgraded to some Beats uh, options. They've come out with some really cool ones uh, in the recent months and so I thought I'd do a head-to-head -head comparison between these two products. The Beats Pro and the Studio Buds. These are both super awesome earbuds. I have owned these guys for about two three months and I got these right when they came out. The Beats Pro uh, I think both of them are awesome earbuds. You could stop the video now and just buy either one and you'd be super excited. But what I'm here to do today is to figure out which one is better for in the wood shop. And on top of that, I know you guys are probably like me and you don't want a pair of earbuds for, you know, working at your day job and then another pair for in the wood shop and another pair for exercising and that kind of stuff. I'm going to broaden this review to not only in the wood shop but also outside of the shop doing exercise, jump roping, bike riding, working out, uh, lifting weights and all that kind of stuff on top of just the ear protection and listening to podcasts and that kind of stuff in the shop. I just want to do a quick shout out to all of my followers currently. I really appreciate you following me. I just passed 500 followers, which I know in the YouTube world isn't a lot, but it means a ton to me that you guys follow what I'm doing. I am humbled and very appreciative of you guys all subscribing to my channel, liking my videos, commenting. I really enjoy the interaction. Uh, in the community of just what I'm doing and I love to hear what you guys are doing. So if you want to, subscribe to my channel. If you want to check out some other videos, uh, feel free to. There's no obligation whatsoever, obviously. If you want to support my channel, I don't get paid for any of these. I don't get these products for free. I buy them with my own money because I want to be completely unbiased uh, towards all of these products that I review. The one way to support me is to shop through the links below. I'll link both of these products and any products in my video um, in affiliate links, mostly through Amazon. So if you want to do that, it's totally free to you. It helps me a ton and just makes me excited about continuing to do videos for you and reviews for products. So. Smash that like below and subscribe to my channel if you want to. Uh, buy stuff through their affiliate links to support my channel. Otherwise, let's jump into this review of the Studio Buds and the Beats Fit Pro. The main reason why I want to do this review is to give you a great option to buy for a loved one that's into woodworking or buy for yourself. Uh, to protect your ears and also give some entertainment. I love listening to all kinds of podcasts and music to really inspire my woodworking projects or whatever projects I'm working on at the time. And on top of that, that ear protection piece is so crucial. I spent about a decade 
not listening to people and not using ear, ear protection while using saws and drills and all that kind of stuff thinking you know i'm special i don't need it but come to find out after years of abuse um i have noticed that especially on my right side the hand you know that i do must drilling and uh using the saw and all that kind of stuff it has affected my hearing and it's a huge bummer now that I can't really get that repaired uh, so I want to protect my ears as much as possible so here are two options that I think are pretty awesome let's jump through some things that they're similar in and then we'll kind of get through the differences at the end of this video I'll give my recommendation that you should buy um, but either way, no matter what you choose, please find something, even if it's a cheap set of $5 earplugs that will protect your ears. So first things, let's jump into what's the same in these earbuds. Uh, number one option is they both have some really great fit tests. So in the app, no matter what you're in, Android or Apple, you can do a fit test and try out the different size earbuds that they come with. They both come with three different options. The medium size for both of them fits super well for me, but everyone's ears are different. And so you can kind of figure out exactly what works for you and then use that fit test within the app or in settings on Apple um, to really narrow down exactly that exact fit so you have the best ear protection. They both have uh, active noise cancellation. One of them might be better than the other that I'll get into later, but they both have that option, which is super awesome in my opinion, especially for that protection. Now I do want to say I am not a doctor. I have not gone to school for anything hearing related. And so this is just my opinion on things, how things work. I'm not saying that it is going to for sure protect your ears, but I think anything that seals that ear canal um, should do wonders in terms of uh, protecting that eardrum and that ear, you know, however it needs to be protected. So definitely consult a doctor to make sure that these earbuds are something that is actually protecting your ear, but from the research I've done, it seems like it's a pretty safe uh, thing to do. Like I mentioned before, they're both Apple and Android compatible. Beats has done a wonderful job making it not specific to Apple, even though that's who owns Beats these days. I think that they've done a great job kind of bridging the gap between that Android and in uh, Apple world. That is super cool. I've used both of them for phone calls and for work-related video chats and that kind of stuff. And the microphone is as good or better than most other Bluetooth headphones that I've used. And so that's something that you'll want to test on your own before the return policy. But in my experience, I think the microphone is great. The last thing that they're similar, and this is Beats if you're listening, I'm so bummed that neither option offers this, but they're not wireless charging. I would love, especially with the Fit Pro, uh, having that Pro price tag, uh, that they'd be wireless charging, but unfortunately they both come with just the USB-C charge cords. They do both charge with the same cord, which is nice if you have both of them, but no wireless charging, which is probably the biggest bummer about these guys. So let's get into the differences. So the Beat Studio Buds, you know, the biggest benefit is the price tag. I paid full full retail price when they first came out of 149, I believe, on Amazon. Now I've seen as low as 129, so shop around, um, I think right now on Amazon, they're 129 in the affiliate link below that I mentioned before, but the price is hard to beat in terms of feature and function and sound quality for these Studio Buds. They also have Find My built in, so if you are an Apple user, you can see where you left these. I actually left them in a soccer field recently after playing uh, for a few hours there and ended up riding my bike home and then realizing I left them and could shoot back 
and uh, check my location of where I left them. So that is an awesome feature on these guys. Uh, they also, they seem to be a little bit more comfortable, especially when I was first getting used to them. So these guys are pretty small, even compared to my Jabra 65Ts. When I first put these in and compared them to those Jabras, it felt like I wasn't wearing anything. You know, for three or four hours, it just kind of felt like there was sound getting pumped into my ear, but I couldn't feel or notice that they're in there, which is a huge benefit in my opinion because I thought the Jabras were amazing until I put these in and it really just kind of feels like a feather in there. That's a huge benefit of these. I will say in terms of cons for these guys, uh, in comparison with the Fit Pro, that tab on the Fit Pro is pretty awesome for keeping the earbud in, where these, um, like I said, I felt like I didn't really notice them, especially the first couple times I wore them. But when I was doing jump roping or some weightlifting activities, it felt like I needed to push them back in every once in a while. That's fine and it's kind of par for the course in terms of the smaller Bluetooth earbuds. Unfortunately, the other con that I'll kind of pair with that is the button here, there's not a very satisfying click feeling. And so when you're readjusting, you can accidentally push that button and pause your music uh, super easily, which isn't the end of the world, but if you're on a phone call or something like that, you could easily adjust and hang up on someone potentially, um, which is a little bit of a bummer. The only, the only other con that I can think of in terms of these guys versus the Fit Pro is without the tab, and I'll show you with the Fit Pro, without that tab, it's kind of hard to remember which one's left and right and I find myself kind of fidgeting with the case quite a bit to remember how to put them back in even after a few months of use. And I would say almost daily use with these guys because I just love these uh, especially. The other pro that I'll mention in terms of comparing the two is this case is, in my opinion, the perfect size. It slips into a pocket, on your jacket or in your the front of your pants or your back pocket, your backpack. It is just super easy and convenient in terms of size, um, which is really cool. So yeah, like I said, the case size is pretty optimal for most use cases. The only downside to that is I tend to lose them easier. Like I mentioned, I left them in a soccer field, um, but the texture of it, the size, everything about it is pretty awesome. So let's get into some some benefits and just kind of why I like these guys and a few cons and that kind of stuff. Fit Pro, in my opinion, might be the best Bluetooth headphones that have ever come out in terms of just the style, um, everything from when I opened the box and saw this pretty dope gray color and then you open it up and it, there's like this teal color which is pretty awesome. Just the style and the experience of opening and closing the case is pretty awesome. I just love the form and function specifically in terms of you know how this works. The tab specifically in my opinion at first I'll be honest it was kind of bothersome if I wore it for more than two hours at a time. Then when I got used to it, it's, I can't really go back when I'm doing any activity in terms of exercise or something like that. In the shop, I don't find it super needed, but to have that extra security when your hands are using a saw or a drill or when you're bending over to pick something up, um, that added security of having that tab in the shop, I think is worth the extra money. It is a larger case, but with that larger case, it actually comes with a better battery life. Overall, Beats has nailed it in terms of making this small enough and compact enough to still fit comfortably in your pocket while optimizing the battery life and the sound quality, I think is, is worth, you know, 
looking at this one in particular. Both of these have the same three modes. So you have the regular, I think it's called, um, or standard, and then you have transparency mode, which in my opinion is somewhat worthless, uh, especially for in the shop. You don't wanna amplify the sound of the saw coming into your ear. And then you have the noise cancellation. I put these to a head-to-head -head test and wore them both paired with two different devices for the noise cancellation. And this guy won every time. Uh, and I'd say by a decent margin. So this one still works if you just had these and you didn't have these to compare them to, I think these would be awesome, but this one definitely has the edge. The other thing to mention with the Fit Pro is it has that M1 chip, which if you are an Apple user like myself, for work, for my iPad, even Apple TV when I'm working out, my Apple Watch, my iPhone, that M1 chip really is a step above. And so that, if you're going to use this for everything, including being in the wood shop, I think this is pretty awesome. The added benefit of function in terms of what you can do with the exterior button that actually has a better feedback for the, the clicking compared to the studio buds is pretty nice. I set it so you can hold down one side to turn up the volume and hold down the other side to turn down the volume, but there's different settings that you can do there um, that are not available on the studio buds. That might be a software update that comes to the studio buds later, but for right now, just the fit pros have that. And like I mentioned before with the studio buds kind of fumbling on how to get them back in the case, personally, and I've heard mixed reviews, I find it a lot easier to recognize one, which one's the right and left. And with that, you know, it's easier to figure out which one goes in which side of the case. I just find it more reliable in terms of knowing exactly how to throw them in there with the little magnet and you know tuck them away all that to say which one is right for you that's the reason why you're watching this video that's the reason why i'm doing this video and i will be completely honest with you i think if you're just looking for a headset that you can have for working in the shop and that is the only reason why you're using it you're going to pair it with your phone or just one device Android or you know Apple, I think hands down, you can't beat the price of these Studio Buds. The size, the function, everything about it is screaming just by these for your loved one or whoever's looking for some work shop specific headphones for sound dampening um, and for ear protection and listening to that podcast or whatever. The sound quality is great. Everything's great about it. You can't beat this price and the functionality. But if you want something that can be the one headphone that you have for everything across the board that can pair to all of your devices seamlessly as you walk into a new room, it will pair with another Apple TV if you choose to do that super easily with one click of the button, you gotta go with these. The added price I think is worth the form and function and the extra little extra battery life, the little extra security. They just have like a few extra features that when it comes down to it, this guy is king in terms of earbud functionality and you know form and all that kind of stuff. The colors are super cool. I have a feeling that Beats is gonna come out with more colors in the spring. Either one of these products is going to be awesome for ear protection and listening to that podcast while you're doing a project around the house or in the wood shop. Thanks for tuning in to this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, feel free to smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more of these in the future. I think. I'm going to start doing a lot more product reviews because I just really like the products that I've kind of surrounded myself with now. And so I'll bring those to you guys to show you what I love about them and why you should bring them to your shop or to your house um, to do projects. 
Otherwise, thanks for tuning in and we will see you next time.